Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. So here in storage, we've got a couple things. I've got a creep vine seed cluster. I, oh, decomposing creep vine sample. Seriously? It's decomposing already? I'm supposed to have creep vine that I can use in here to make basic... I, I need those. i got to make that really quickly. Welcome back to Subnautica. We have got various different things that we want to get done today. Um, in particular, I want to get, I sort of, I need to build myself up like the, the basic things. I, I need my basic things. I need ribbon plant times two, copper ore, uh, copper wire, basic materials, the silicon. All right, let's make a load of fiber mesh. Um, I've been told with Subnautica that it doesn't, actually have that much uh, material in it at the moment there's not much that we can do yet so what i'm gonna need to do you know i'll make a basic first aid kit we'll be glad of that i think what i'm gonna do is i'm not going to like rush through it particularly i'm, I'm gonna take my time playing this because i kind of figured that well from from what the, the impression i got from the comments is that there's a lot of people that want me to play this game for a long time, all right? I've definitely got the impression that a lot of you want me to spend a lot of time playing this game. And really getting back into this game and, and doing a whole load of stuff with it. And that you are absolutely thrilled for a start that I'm even in the game at all. Um, and i gotta be, I got to be honest, I am absolutely delighted to be back here. So it is a little bit disappointing to find out that there's not very much material. I'm hoping that we will be able to do plenty in the game. Can I get out? Can I get out? I don't think I can get up here yet. I want to get up there with them. That's what I want to do. I want to get up there with them. I think i got to, like, go back and then... No, maybe not like that. Maybe i got to go up this. Is that how I do it? Ah, there we go. Right. I've made it. Look, I've made it. Next to these little guys. They're so cool. So we've got an emergency emergency supply cache over there, 310 meters away, and then 60 meters away. That, I think, is our habitat that we've got at the moment. Um, we've got this area. There's another small area where we can do a little bit of stuff. But there's not masses and masses of it. If I remember, I should have included a link in the description down below for um, everything. Sea Glide Fragment. So we can't get the fragment yet. I've still got to make the stuff. So we're going to just sort of cruise around here. And we're going to make the stuff at the moment that we need to make. Some quartz. Look what the flashing was. There's a storm. Big old storm coming. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's uh, th there's a lot of stuff available at the moment. Well, well, there's some stuff available at the moment. We've got like two hours of gameplay that we can do. I've been told, but I'm I'm gonna sort of drag it out a little bit. I think, um, so that we we can get a a, a couple of episodes out of this at least. And, well, I say a couple, uh, a few more episodes out of this. Because so many of you have said you're so pleased I'm back playing this game. Cooked boomerang. Oh, that's decomposing. Um, and I am absolutely thrilled to be back playing this game. It is genuinely awesome. Absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm really, really delighted to be back in this one. And I'm looking forward to sort of exploring everything that we have to offer. Uh, I was saying, link in the description down below. If I forget, then please remind me. There should be a link down there for the... There's a website that they've got where they show all of their progress. And there's a lot of progress to be had. There's, there's a lot of different things that they're doing. Oh, there's another one there. Another limestone. Get that one there. A lot of different things that they're doing. Does that do anything? No, that's not that one. Um, what is it I'm supposed to be getting? The ribbon plant. Something. Something about a ribbon plant. I need water is what I really need. Which I need the bladder fish for. 
That one. Is that the bladder fish? Yes, that's the bladder fish. Right, I need those so that I can get the water. Um, meh, get you. Uh, but yeah, the, it, it's basically got the, the plan for absolutely everything that they're going to be doing for the next year. And it's showing everything they're working on as well. And it's really, really, really detailed, everything they got on that website. Oxygen. So if you want to, if you really want to keep up with what they're doing and have a look at the plans for the bits that they're releasing and when they're going to release them, this is the website to use. So... I will hopefully have it in the description down below. If I haven't, and remind me, and I will add it in. Um, I've already put a link on our Discord channel. We have a Discord channel now. There's a link for that in the description down below. Uh, go and check that one out. If you want to join the Discord, that would be absolutely fantastic to see you there. Um, that is Smoodalini and Jimmy J have been working on that one. Jimmy J built it. smoodalini has gone along and he's helped him. And we've also got another admin, Oxygen. Travis Dudley. He's done a massive amount of work in it as well. Uh, between the three of them, yeah, that's, that's their baby, right? That is their baby. They have done a huge amount on it, and it is absolutely amazing. Um, so th 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 there's a lot that you can go and have a look at in there. Um, different rooms, different things. And the, we've got a few sort of channels that we're making for people to use for chat in various different games if they want to. Um, should make life a lot easier for various uh, multiplayer gaming. Don't get your hopes up about multiplayer gaming with me. That's still not going to happen unless you play World of Warcraft. And even then, Oxygen. as many people on the Warcraft server know at the moment, I'm not on very much unless I'm actually recording. I've not actually been on socially for the best part of a month because of personal things. Um... But hopefully that will change at some point, and I will get back to it. Right, this we got a load of titanium now, so I don't want that one. I want to go back over here. Can I get there before I run out of oxygen? I will grab a couple more of these bladderfish on the way back through. At least we, this is what I love about this. Some things are so familiar, and some things are so strange. So we've got, like, bladderfish that we need to catch in order to be able to get food. Uh, uh, sorry, water. And then we've also got um, fish that we need to catch for food. Some of the plants and stuff are familiar plants. Others are completely strange that I've never seen before. Like, hang on, let me grab that one. I want to be able to make a battery in a minute. And that I need... Not those. Not those. It's a ribbon plant. This seems like a ribbon-type plant. I'm out of oxygen, oxygen already. I need to make the oxygen tank. That's got to be... If we, if we can get the oxygen tank and the flippers, it's going to change things around quite considerably. So first, let's go to the fabricator sustenance. Uh, cook, not cooked food. Actually, yes, cooked food. We'll cook the hoop fish. So I've got a little bit of food right there. Um, and then I go to water, and that's the bladder fish. I need to make lots of these. I will make all of the bladder fish. How many bladder fish have I got? Click off to the side like that. And you press tab. Wow, <laughs> I got loads of them. Okay, we'll turn all of those into things. Uh, just click on it to consume it. So we'll do that. I need more food. Definitely need more food. Let's go back to you a minute. And sustenance, cooked food. Grizzly low calorie count. Yeah, let's, let's turn that into water. I will turn all of these into water, every single one. So then we've got a decent supply of, because water is something that we do run out of fairly frequently. Filtered water, H2O, 6 ounces. Filtered using an all-organic membrane, non-vegetarian. Non-vegetarian water. I didn't think that would be even a marketable item. I genuinely didn't. But still, that's what they got. Uh, oh, right, I've run out now. So we can go back in here. Electronics. I've got copper wire I can make, but I still don't have any ribbon plants. Deployables. I can make a waterproof locker. Tools in here. I've got that. The pathfinder tool. We need creep finder samples. I don't need the pathfinder tool. Seek fluid intake. Yeah. Uh, air bladder. Emergency flotation device. Flashlight. I need the battery. Scanner. I need the battery. So the battery is quite important. Fins, I need two silicon rubber. I've got that, and I've got the fiber mesh and stuff as well. We're all right for those. Let's go into here and filtered water. 
Uh, Vital one, signs stabilizing. Two, three, four. There we go. Right. So, um, go like that. And then storage over here. I want to go uh, fiber mesh. I'll take those. I'll take the titanium. And then I'll take a few of these. I've, oh, I've actually got a couple of ribbon plants. We'll take them. I'll take the glass. Let's take some more of them. And the copper. Do I... Well, I'll take uh, two of those. One, two. One, two. Right. We'll do it like that. There. Back over to the fabricator. Now we have got basic materials. Glass. I can do that again. So I'll just make a bit of that. Just because I can. And then I will go here. Copper ore and ribbon plant times two. That gives me one battery. I'm going to need more batteries. Could also do with a battery charger at some point, but we're not going to worry about that for a second. Tools. Pathfinder flashlight scanner. That is the bad boy that I want most of all. So we'll make our scanner. And that one I'll move on the bar in a minute. Uh, equipment next. I want fins. Silicon rubber times two. Yes, now we're talking. Standard O2 tank. Yes. Yes! Ha -ha! Blueprint acquired. Nice. Now we've got a beacon as well that we can make. Where's that one go? Deploy it. Not under deployables. Sustenance. Personal tools. Pathfinder, air bladder, flashlight, scanner. Equipment. First aid, standard O2 tank. Resources. It's not in here. Wait a minute. Right, now, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into here, and I'm going to move you over to... Actually, I'm going to put the scanner in the first slot, and the knife in the last slot, like that. So, the fins and the standard O2 tank, we auto-equip those. It doesn't change that. Uh, we've got filtered water down here. I'll put that down onto a hotbar slot, like that. Um, I don't think I need to do anything else for a minute. I did have all of my tools and stuff down there. PDA adding essential blueprints. Blueprints here. We've got lubricant, wiring, computer chip. Oh, I'm adding loads of stuff in now. Pipes, air bladders, pathfinders, the repair tool. Crystalline sulfur we need for that. That's a familiar tool. That's, that's, that's a... This is so cool. We're back playing this game. We are back playing this. This is, this is just awesome. Um... Scan that fabricator. I'll be able to make another one. Is it done? Well, they let me scan it, so I don't need to do anything else. Um, I got new stuff. Look, deployables. I got a beacon right there. Navigation aid. I'm going to make one of them. Those things are absolutely invaluable. They really are. And we, we did use them quite a bit. Tools over here. Repair tool. I can't get that for a bit. I don't have any sulfur. And there's nothing else on that one. But this one here, we've got a pipe. And we've got the floating air pump. Device that pumps air into pipes. Acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. I never used that in the other one, did I? I didn't use it at all. So here we've got a computer chip. Table, coral, gold, copper wire. Wiring kit is silver ore. And then we've got the others. So... I'm going to need a spare battery at some point. That is one thing I will need is a spare battery. Uh, first up, though, I need to exit the base. And I need to go and get some food. That's what we need. We need to chase after. Right, what are you? I've, ooh, I know what I can do. Rather than attacking things with a knife... Scan it. Yes, indigenous life forms. Pinacrid. And I got more air as well. Blueprints, inventory. What have I got in my inventory? Oh, I got the beacon. Right. Uh, data bank, indigenous life form, fauna, carnivore, pinacrid. Intelligent, curious creature which hunts and forages below the waterline but returns to the surface to breathe. Eats small fish, maybe hand fed, shows taming potential. Assessment friendly. Probably not quite so friendly after the way I stuck it with a knife. Got to be said. Um, but I'm hoping it'll learn to forgive me for that. Grab trap fragment. There we go. 
Uh, limestone chunk. Grab that one. Now what? Right, got those pinnacrids. I want... Why? Well, I need food. Food is what I need. So we... Oh, I, I picked it up. We could also do with scanning it. Hey! I'll scan that. There. Now pick it up. I want to try and scan everything if I can. I got an eye eye over there. There and Oh. Right, well I can pick up the bladder fish. Boomerang, I definitely want I want to scan that one. Come here. Come here you. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oxygen. Oop. Let's go up to the surface a minute. Have ourselves a little bit of this. A little bit of the old breathable air. Now somewhere see up there. That is apparently our sister, who is up there in that station up there, and she can send us some things, but it appears that they're not actually allowed to send us very much. So what is that? Arctic peeper. Meh. Meh, let me finish scanning you. Yeah, there we go. Grab you. Grab that one. I grab everything I can. Because, yeah, you know, food. And I also want to break it, break open these. Pick up everything that I can get. Just go for it. Just, just keep grabbing things. Get you. Some of these are very slow moving. Uh, I wanted to get another one of the, the ribbon plants. But I don't know where the ribbon plant is. I, I'm not even sure which one the ribbon plant... What I need to be chopping for the ribbon plant. Um, is that the tape? Where's the table coral? That doesn't appear to be table coral there. So I can't use that. 15 seconds. Let's go to the surface again. We will get more food. And we're, go we're going after the other stuff. We are going after the other stuff. But I, I need to lay in supplies. I need to make sure that I got plenty of supplies. You know, let's, let's grab that one. Hoop fish there. We can cook some of these. Bust you open. There's a bit of titanium. Um, what else have I got? Travel around this way. And this is one thing that I don't get about this game, right? Is you don't have a map. Now, I understand not having a map for purposes of gameplay. It does make it quite cool that you don't have a map, right? But... For the actual, like, the story in that, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. 30 seconds. Oh, like, seriously, we've got some of the most advanced technology that we've ever seen. Like, we, we, we've got seriously advanced technology. And we're able to, we've got stasis rifles, we've, we've got all sorts of things. All of that, and we are not able to create a map as we go along. Right? It just... It doesn't quite add up. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint acquired. I love the acquired. I always have and I always will. Um, it just it doesn't quite make sense, does it? The fact that you've got that one little kind of oi oi oi, that's my boomerang. It's my boomerang fish, you leave it alone. Um Yeah, it, it doesn't quite make sense that you can't make a map. We can make anything we want almost with this fabricator, but we're not allowed to make a map. Really doesn't, like, make sense. Uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. We that we use that a lot, at least to start off with, until we sort of get a better supply of other things. We did use it quite a bit. Uh, let's go to cooked food. I've got an arctic peeper there. I've got several different foods. I've got a cooked hoop fish. I did have some salt that I could... Let me go into here a minute. Let me take that salt there. Okay, I've, I've now got everything in here. Uh, drink. Right-click to use. And then fabricator right there. No, not resources. Sustenance. Cured food in here. So I will cure a hoop fish. 
And then I'll cure another hoop fish in a minute. There. So there's two hoop fishes that we've cured. Keep those for a little bit. That's everything. That's all my salt used up. Cooked eye eye. High in fluids, low in um, calories. Uh, I got another one of them. I also scanned a couple of them so we can have a look at that as well. The boomerang. Boomerang seem to be about the best eating. Or they used to be the best eating in the game. So I'm assuming that they're much the same now. And then we've got a cooked bladder fish. I will make one of those because uh, we haven't made a cooked bladder fish yet. Right, so we've got all of that. Um, now we have a look in here. So we've got a... Those are both cured. They take a while. They, they um, Cooked Arctic Peeper. Health minus one. Food plus 31. H2O plus four. They are deteriorating very... Everything is health minus one. Never eat the antenna. Right, seriously, that is really bad, the rate at which these cooked bladder fish there. Boomerang is 21 food. And the II is 18 food. It's really bad, the rate at which they decompose. It's like appallingly bad. That's all right. Right, everything is up to maximum now. This, this is looking a lot rosier. I've got plenty of titanium and plenty of copper. Was there anything else I needed to fabricate just yet? I don't need that. Actually, the only thing that I might possibly need, I think... Uh, let's come out of there. we we'll go back into this side. Equipment. We've got first aid. We've got those. Tools. Flashlight repair tool. I'd say a flashlight. So we want battery. I want probably four batteries. So I would say, actually, the only thing that I genuinely actually need is deposit the copper, the glass, the titanium, and the rubber, like that, and then the food and the rest of it will keep hold of. Uh, the only thing I need is the ribbon plants. I need to find these ribbon plants, and then I can get a torch, which will make me able to see at night a little bit easier. Then we will see about going over to the emergency supply cache. I'm not going there just yet. Doing this quite deliberately. I am. I, I know what I'm doing. So I've got creep vine over here. Scan that. There we go. Uh, oh, there's no seeds on it. So where's violet bow? There we go. Indigenous life forms. Have I got any? Is there is there ribbon plants down here? There is silver. Breakable silver. That's pretty good. Right. Well, I've got these. I've got this. Um, I, I got the silver. You can't scan the silver. Uh, where was the ribbon plant? That ribbon plant is literally the only thing I need. We've got a giant titan hole fish over here. This takes a while to scan. Curious what the titan hole fish can do. Let's get up to... I want to get to the surface, and I want to read about that one. I really do. I really want to find out what that one can do. Uh, data bank over here. Herbivores small. We've got the Arctic Peeper. Assessment edible. Don't like the auto-generated name. Suggest... Oh, researcher notes. Cool. Uh, Arctic Peeper. Fast prey fish camouflage against the ice. Suggest ice clops. Ha <laughs> ha. I like ice clops. That's pretty cool. Boomerang. Suggests adaptation for grinding corals. Other herbivores are unable to digest. Edible. Uh, I'm not going to bother reading all of it. Incapable of fast movement, this species is vulnerable to agile predators at close range. Shark species may have evolved hunting techniques to close on the eye, eye unseen from above, below, or behind. Deep set rings and lens suggest specialization for identifying its predators in low light environments long before they come into attack range. Uh, this organism and the common peeper share a common evolutionary ancestor. While the II's sacrifice maneuverability shares and enhances his cousin's powerful eyesight, the ancestral alpha peeper may have been one of the first life forms on 4546B to develop eyesight many millions of years ago. Uh, and you've got the hoop fish, and yeah, that's, that's fairly basic. Right, herbivore. Large docile herbal, valuable oxygen source if you can reach it. Huh? Slow, stupid, and delicious. Complex gill lines inside line the inside of the hole. Oh, complex gills line the inside of the hole. 
Um, it emits oxygen and is defended by the small aggressive symbiotes which accompany them. Drawing cold water in, emitting warm oxygen-rich water in its place, attracts symbiotes which make the whole fish their home and fiercely ward off any approaching life form. Migrates more or less at random, feeding from nutrients deposited by the symbiotes. The Titan whole fish has evolved entirely beyond basic survival mechanisms like speed, intelligence, or hunting. It exists in a semi-permanent state of unreflective calm. Swimming forward on impulse, fully trusting the complex Easter ecosystem which supports it. Okay, this sounds actually pretty cool. Uh, we've got C, we've got the violet bow, it's just a plant, and then we've got exploitable creek vines right here. Edible construction applications. Oh, I didn't know that was edible. Okay. Geological data, titanium and copper source. Okay, that is that is everything that we have found out. So let's go back to this Titan peeper. Apparently it's got symbiotes. <laughs> Get close to it and replenish your oxygen. And you can go through the hole as well. Ha <laughs> ha! There was a little tiny fish there. Okay, this thing is awesome. This thing is actually awesome. Completely replenishes our oxygen. The whole, the Titan whole fish. I love you, Titan whole fish. You're my new favorite fish. I'm going to be using you. Ooh, a propulsion cannon fragment. We don't have, like, all the crates everywhere that we got to search for anymore. I'm going to go over to this one. <laughs> yes! Oh, I love the whole fish! The whole fish is my new fate symbiote. There's the symbiote. There. Yes. I got it. I want to pick that thing up as well. Okay. Ow. Right, apparently they are a little bit aggressive. Uh, only a little bit, though. There he is. Did I pick it up or not? Oh, I did pick it up, look. Oh, it's not letting me pick it up. It doesn't want me to. I try to pick the thing up, and it gets all aggressive with me. That's what's I wonder what it was doing. It's like being really weird. Okay, so I've, I've got them, and I, I have got it at least um, scanned. So we'll be able to find out a little bit more about that symbiote. I've got more resources here. There's a bit of titanium there. I've already got the... Ah, there we go. Ribbon plant. That's the one I want. Scan you a minute. Scanning. There we go. Right. Uh, pick you up and pick you up. Right, there's a couple batteries. The light is coming back. The light is coming back. This is good. And then I want to go. I want to go back. Where's my whole fish? The symbiotes all the way around it. What I was hoping is that the whole fish over here will. Maybe I can like. I want to be able to see it in better light. Mostly that's what I want to do. Is I just want to be able to see the thing. But these fish here. Symbiotes. Meh. Right. Now I want to see if I can get you. Okay, so we know that they're aggressive. I've got to be a little bit careful with them. But I'm still certain that I can catch one. Did I get it? I did. Right, there it is. I have picked up a symbiote. Didn't I? Please tell me I got it. Please tell me I got that symbiote. I killed it. Oxygen. Health minus eight. Food plus ten. Uh, oxygen. Oxygen. <laughs> ah, the whole fish to the rescue. Whole fish to the rescue. That thing is awesome. That thing is absolutely awesome. I love it. Look at it. Big, slow, and stupid. And it's the savior of the seas. That is so cool. Right. <laughs> That's, I'm so pleased to be back in this game. I picked up that symbiote. I, 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 I 
stabbed it multiple times and I picked it up and it still sort of wriggled alive and, and ran off again. At least I got lots of titanium and this around. Uh, titanium and copper available. Uh, yeah, we got loads of this stuff. So what I really need is those... Uh, I need the ribbon plants. I need to find ribbon plants. If I can find some more of them, I'll be able to make some more batteries. I picked up two just then. Ooh, steady. I got two. Let me go. Where's, where's, the, where's the door? Where's the door? There we go. Right, into base. To base, I've got lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. I've also got data bank right here. Symbiote there. A small fast predator which nests inside the hole. The Titan Holefish is defensive at all costs. Catch or neutralize to approach the Titan Holefish. I picked one up. It didn't let me do anything. Symbiotes feed mostly on overconfident predators which attack the Titan Holefish. Spending huge energy reserves to move quickly and strike a target. Symbiote is dependent on receiving additional warmth and oxygen from the Titan Holefish. They lay their eggs inside the gills of the Titan Holefish. The waste left behind is absorbed by the Titan, constituting all the nutrients it needs to survive. That's actually pretty awesome, the way that works. And we've got a propulsion cannon. That one's, that will take care of the, the, the holefish. Uh, decomposing creep vine right there. So we can we can eat the, the creep vine if we need to. I don't want to, though. Uh, there, I want another battery. That's what I want to make. How do I put my weapon away? I can't remember now. There's, there is a way, isn't there? Um, do that. How, how do I how do I put the stuff away? Let me let, let me have a look a minute. Oh, I just press the button again. I go to number one. You you can scroll through them like that, and then you use them. But if you just press the button again, it um, puts it away. So you have it like that. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, back to the fabricator. We go to personal. We go to equipment. And it's not in there. It's under tools, flashlight, glass. I have glass. I have glass in here. Uh, where is it? There. I have a piece of glass. That's all I need. And then I need to get some more ribbon. If I want a spare battery, I need a little bit more ribbon, don't I? So I'll make the flashlight a second. So then I've got that, and then we can have a look in here. I can put that one down. I'll put the first aid kit out, and we won't worry about the beacon for now. So I've got decom... See, look at those. So fast that they decompose. I've got the cured hoop fish there. Health minus 10, food plus 11. Health minus 11. It's getting worse and worse. It is so quick. To deteriorate. And then health plus 50 there. I can't remember how we replay. I think if you've got top-notch health, you, you you regenerate your health anyway, don't you? If you've got top-notch health. I think if you're, like, um, fully... Right. That one, uh, drop. Right-click to drop. Yeah, get rid of them. Like that. They'll drop down there, and then we can ignore them. Now... We need to swim around, and we need to find some more of those vines. It used to be these mushrooms. We could just go and get mushrooms. We got the acid mushrooms, and we were fine. Let me get a, a boomerang. Another boomerang over there. I might have to make a grab trap. Right. couple of boomerangs. That's, go that's, go that's a good start. What I really want is some of those... It's the, the ribbon, ribbon plant, whatever you call it. The ribbon thingy. Oh, wait a minute. There's an alien thing down there. I see another alien thing. It's cold up here. It's probably cold in the water, to be honest. Ooh. Precursor technology. Tab to view. Precursor technology. What do we got? What? Uh, precursor bounty. Gain rewards for precursor tech. What rewards? Digitous life form. Where's the... Oh, there. Generic ribbon. Oh, that hasn't had the, the thing you put on it yet. Right. Um, okay. Gain rewards for precursor tech. What sort of rewards are we going to get for precursor tech? Because there's a... There's a thing here, look. Look like we can do anything with it, though. Not at the moment, anyway. Let us continue our search. Ooh, ooh. 
Now that is a, that is a really cool thing. I, I want that one. Sea glides. I definitely want to be able to make a sea glide. We've got one of three on there, and oh, there's creep vines. I care about creep vines. Um, although if I've got creep vines here, is there another great big titan hole fish? There is some more bits in here. That's that's all grab traps down there. Okay, there's loads of grab seconds. traps. Let's not get too deep. We've only got 30 seconds. Grav traps aren't what I'm after. I want longer underwater. What? Are, oh, there, 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 there. There's a um a, a thingy, right down there. Sea glide. Go and get that one. Yes. Sea glide fragments. Thank you. There's another one. Bust you apart right there. And have I got any more bits? Well, I've already scanned that. If I scan it again, what do I get? Oh, of course. Yeah, that's like a really good source of um, titanium. I remember now, if we do that, you get loads of titanium. We've got some more copper over there. I don't need to worry too much about that, do I? We're getting 160 meters away from that. I want to head to the surface. If I can make a sea glide, that would be awesome. That would be absolutely awesome. Right, I've found two pieces of sea glide around this area. There's a load of grav... Oh, wait a minute. There. I see another piece. See it? No, I don't. I see a bit of quartz. I thought I had another piece there for a minute. Come on. Come on. This place is so awesome. I know I could be, like, rushing off and going and doing all the other stuff, but... Because there's not very much of the game actually available at the moment, I'm not in a great hurry to go and do that. I'm going to go and do the other stuff. Don't get me wrong. I will be doing the other stuff. But I'm not in seconds. any tearing hurry for it because of the fact that uh, we don't have that much material in this game. And I don't want to rush through it. I do have other things that I'm going to be playing, mind. Uh, don't get me wrong. I've got other things that I want to be playing. Um, I've got a couple of games lined up that we're going to take. We're going to replace this once we've played through the content that is here. And then we'll come back to this one. It's March the 15th, I think, is the next up big update for this one. Another whole load of stuff. So we'll come back to it then. I mean, we could have spent a week in here already. We'll see. I, I'm, st I'm still trying to find this other piece. There it is. Sea glide. You can actually tell me in the comments. Yes. Acquired. Oh yes. We've got our new piece. You can tell me in the comment section down below. Do you want me to like seconds. show everything, all of my running around and hunting and gathering, as well as like the the other bits of gameplay, or do you want me to cut some of these bits out? Where I'm just kind of going around and searching for stuff. Um, obviously, it's going to make a difference to the length of the episodes and the number of episodes. If I'm including, if I li leave literally everything in, um, it will sort of, it'll drag it out a little bit for you and it gives you slightly more subnautica content. I realise that dragging it out is not really exploring everything that they've got here, but I know some of you would actually like me to do it along those lines. Um, so, yeah, can, let, let me know in the comment section, what, what are your views on me, me dragging this out a bit and, and seeing what else I can find? We haven't got much longer. I am just going to have a quick scan around. I'm looking for more of those ribbon plants. Those are the one thing that seems to be in short supply. Either that or I'm just going around in circles and I haven't actually gone over new territory for a while, which is why I haven't found any. Uh, I suspect that might actually be more likely. Let's go. All right. Well, we'll head towards this way. We'll go away from any. I think this is more in a direction we haven't really been before, or at least not for a while. Maybe there's something over this way. I do need a bit of food. I have got some salted food, so we've got a little bit of food that's going to keep us going. I've got some more things there. I'm not going to worry about grabbing those for a minute. And there we go. Ribbon plant. Let's get you. I've got a limestone thing there. I've got another ribbon plant. These are difficult to find. 
Uh, seriously, it looks like we've got to hunt for, like, little caves. Little tiny caves will give us the ribbon plant. Uh, oh. Uh, this is something I've got to watch out for. <laughs> this is... I've definitely got to be careful that I don't spend too... I don't go too far under the ice. Straying under the ice is really something we don't want to do. Like, that way. It's that... This direction over here. Right? And now we've got light. Got lots of light. I've got those over there. Is there a titan hole fish around here somewhere? It's got to be. It's got. I'm, I'm really hoping there is. Because oh no, look, look, we've got some. We've got a gap up there. We're all right. We have got a gap. Now I remember having to keep a bit of an eye on where the oxygen was in the last one. But we didn't have anything like the icebergs everywhere. This this is definitely making life a little bit more tricky for us. I like it. I do. I really, really like it. Uh, oh. I'm not sure I like the actual caves going back that way, though. Those look dangerous. Here's our emergency thingy over that way. Uh, down here. Ribbon plant. There's some ribbon plants. Yes, thank you. Two of them. Looks like we only get two per cave. There's nothing to scan there. Right. And up over this. Table coral was another thing we were looking for, wasn't it? We're going to worry about table corals right now. Okay, let's let's go back over to our um, habitat over there. There's 200 yards away now. And we'll put together our stuff we're going to have run out of time for today's episode so we're going to head back over that way and then once we've done that we're going to call it a day and then in our next episode we'll be able to make our sea glide and we'll be able to go over to the emergency supply cache as well and see what we've got over there um i'm guessing once we've gotten that there'll be another bit we'll have like another little bit of the story um, our, our sister, who we don't get on with all that well, apparently, will probably get hold of us again and say, look, you, you need to do this and go here. And then we'll complain and say she just, she, she's not like she used to be and she's not our mother and, um, and, and something like that. Although we haven't actually mentioned mother yet. Mother has not been mentioned. Mother may be mentioned at some point, but mother has not yet been brought into it. There are the symbiotes that they generally seem to leave us alone. Let's replenish our oxygen over here. Look at this thing. Look, I love this Titan hole fish. This is quite possibly one of the best things that we've got in this game so far. He's so cool. And he really does look genuinely stupid. Alright, leave me alone. Just, 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 no. Leave me alone. Seek fluid intake. Oh dear. Um, yeah, he does though, doesn't he? He does look genuinely stupid. Come here. Grab you, and yeah, I'll have you as well. If I get any more, another boomerang, third boomerang. That'll do nicely. We'll just have the three as a bit of food for us, and we hop back into here. Uh, by the way, we now have a Discord server if you would like to, hang on, um, like that. We have a Discord server. If you would like to join the Discord server, there is details in the description down below. Uh, please go and join if if you want to like be more involved with the community if you want a chance to earn your way into the great book of names I'll try and use the great book of names in this series if I can if I'm fight if there are things that I get to name after people or you know we can we, well we do we do get to name some places and that don't we so yeah I'll, I'll be using the great book of names for a bit in this how many boomerangs have I picked up I thought I only picked up like two I picked up loads of them I really did uh, but anyway, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch Vital as well. Stabilizing. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.